What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And uh, we need to talk about experience. Um, one thing that I was really learning today um, when watching these races is that in the, both the 200 meter men and women, because uh, we're going to talk mainly about Abby Steiner, Tamara Clark, and Aria Knight as a unit being the youngsters, the babies on the American teams. And just how experience won today. Um, sometimes when you when you watch sports, sometimes and I talked about this in the last video. I made an example of like Michael Jordan stuff like that, and how sometimes you just got to get beat up. You got to you got to get your ass whooped. You know, um, you, you have to. Uh, I think in order to really learn these lessons. Now, um, you know. What we realized today is that we're a little bit far away from where we need to be as far as like we, we get we got a we got a hill to climb. You know, we got a hill to we got a or a mountain, whatever you want to say, we got a mountain to climb. And um, you know, in order to get there and I, and starting with Area Knighton, you know, losing to the Noah Lyles, coming in third place, even behind Kenny um Ben Derrick, um, you know, he he's definitely gonna be looking at this as, you know, this is a lesson for him today, you know, because He's 19, and he's he's definitely getting an education right now. You know, uh, his big brother, Noah Lyles, you know, uh, definitely gave him a message today and let him know, you got a long ways to go, buddy, and in order for you to get to this level, you're going to have to work hard. You know, you're going to have to really work hard. And, you know, uh, the age difference. He, Noah's 25, just turned 25, by the way, because he had a birthday on, what was that, Monday, I think? Monday or Tuesday? No, I think it was Monday. And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to have to – but I had to learn, you know, Kung Fu Kenny. We see him getting better and better every year. He's 23 right now, about to be 24 later this year. Uh, he's got to, he's got to learn, you know. Uh, all these guys, you know, in the track and field game, you got to learn. You know, it's every sport and in life here, you got to learn. And inexperience would definitely be something that would definitely be. And I always look at it, I always look at look at experience as, as a blessing. You know, the, the experience that you gain, the education that you gain, in, in, you know, in, in your craft. You know, you have to learn to get better. You know, and you know that's why it's a blessing when you do face the best of the best. You know, you don't want to face anybody who ain't the best of the best. You know, because how are you going to be your best self if you don't learn from the best? And I think for Abby this week, you know, uh, Abby and Tamara on that woman's side, they saw the best in the Jamaicans today. Uh, Sharika Jackson, Shelly, and Fraser Price, and they were like, you know, we, we got to get there. And, he, and even to a, to a small extent, Dina Asher Smith, you know, Dina Asher Smith is older than the both of them as well. Dina Asher Smith, was, was she like 25 right now? So... She's still almost kind of a youngin' in her own right, you know. Sharika Jackson said right in the middle of her prime, 28 years old. That's 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 like dead heat of your prime. It's like late 20s. And, you know, this is going to be the best version of herself over these next year or two, you know, going into the 2024 Olympics. And so, you know, she, she it's her time to shine right now, you know. Shelly Ann, Fry, Shelly Ann Fraser Price been there before. She knows that, you know, what it's going to take. And I think for Abby, you know, uh, she had dead legs. Tamara Clark had dead legs. They had a heavy collegiate season. They weren't able to run their best. Like, forget the fact that of whatever they were going to place at, they didn't even have the legs to even just compete. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at their scores, like, they just didn't even, they didn't even have the legs to compete. And we knew this was going to happen. You know, usually you get to this time of year, they've been running, you know, probably since, what, the fall, you know, last year, you know. And then they started having the competitions all winter in the indoor season. And it picks up even more. You got them all in the spring for the outdoor season. And now, you know, you're turning pro the late part of the season. And you're burnt out, you know. You're burnt out. You need the rest. And um, I think for Abby, she got a good education, though. And really – more than anything, she got her education from Shelly Ann Frazier Price because Shelly Ann Frazier Price showed her a lot the last two races. Like, just racing behind Shelly Ann Frazier Price, just seeing how she prepares for the event, seeing how she runs in front of you. Because when you got someone ahead of you, you can study them, put that on tape, and see what Shelly Ann does when she takes turns, when she gets to that level. That's why I said one of the things that I want 
uh, both ladies to really focus on and on, and maybe even Arian Knight himself is the hundred meters. You got to correct a lot. This is why Sherry, this is why Sharika Jackson is as good as she is. Not only did she keep learning and was able to stay healthy throughout, but also she worked on her hundred meters. You know, you got when you're a two hundred meter athlete. You really need to work on that 100 meters, man, because the, you're running that basically in your race. You need to have really good starts. You want to be ahead of the field by the by the time you turn. You know, you don't really want to be always chasing people down. I know that's what Abby does, but you know, uh, that, that, that's her specialty. But you want to get to a point where you know you got people chasing you. You know, you don't want to always be the one chasing people down. But I, I really do believe that they're in a good spot. I think all three of them are in really good spots. I mean, this is their first time out, I mean, you know, for, at the World Championships. And, uh, you know, it's not it's not really the first time for international competition for Aaron Knight since he was at the Olympics last year. But, you know, he's going to continue to learn. He's the youngest out of all of them. Uh, Tamara Clark is, I think she's almost, she's the same age as Aaron Knight. I forgot. Uh, let me look her up real quick for y'all. Uh, I believe she's, let me see here. Because so Tamara Clark is, she's younger than uh, Abby Steiner. No, 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 no. She's 23. You know what? Somebody was telling me she was 19. And I was like, I wasn't even sure when they told me Tamara Clark was 19. I was like, no, I thought Tamara Clark was older than that. I thought she was like 21, 22. Um, no, she's 23. So she's a little ahead of Abby Steiner. Abby Steiner turns 23 later this year. I think November, December, that's her birthday. Uh... Samara Clark will turn 24, so she's a year ahead. I, I wasn't even expecting her to be a year ahead of uh, Abby Steiner, but she's still young. She's still a baby either way. It doesn't even matter, uh, 23 or 22. Still young, and they got to learn. You know, you got to learn, and experience will help. You know, and I think over the next two years, that's going to be their most important thing is gaining experience. Abby's going to, you know, hopefully Abby, when she runs trials in a couple of years, they make the team, Tamara makes the team, Aaron Knight makes the team, get to the Olympics and see what it's like to be on the Olympic stage. Because when we get to 2028, guess where the Olympics are at? Home soil. We're back at home again, just like we was at Hayward Field today. We're back at home and we're, we're going to be in Los Angeles. And you know what? That's y'all time, man. The, the, Abby's going to be 28. She's going to be in her prime. You know, Tamara going to be 29. She's going to be in her prime. Arian Knight, he's going to be, what, 25, 26? He's going to be in his prime. He's going to be in his prime in a few years. Uh, 24, 25, 26, somewhere around there, mid-20s for Arian Knight. He's going to be in his prime. So they got to get ready for that 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 part of their career, man. And, uh, and uh, you know, that's what, that's what you use these next two years for. You use these two years to learn, get better. Stay healthy. That's the main thing. Just stay healthy, though. That's the main thing. Abby's got some problems with that in, in her in her career. Is staying healthy. So you just gotta stay healthy, man. Like that's the main thing. Gain your experience. Learn from these these world class athletes. See how they approach everything, and just go with that same approach. You know what I'm saying? So, cause they're all fast. All of these, all of them are fast, man. They get the, they get here for a reason. You know, it's all about the way you run. It's not about your speed. It's about the way you run. That's how you win races, man. It's the approach, the skill, the 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 the, the, the getting the experience to know when to turn and all that other stuff. That's what it's about, guys. So I'll leave y'all on that note, man. Hit that like button for me on the way out, man. Uh, definitely hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Any comments I got, definitely put them below. And if you want to donate to the channel, hit the thanks button below. Thank you guys for watching. After news, delight.